Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you once more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line too. I would love to hear from you and I love to get the positive feedback, especially if it has something to do with, you know, your spiritual gifts or even about the content of my video today. And if you feel like you resonate with my video and you enjoy what you heard, like, give me a thumbs up, even share it. It would greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel today and seeing what's up with me. And from my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you as always. Thank you so much for the support that you uh, come by and share with me and the love that you give back. So I appreciate all those. I don't know why every time I start doing videos, my nose starts itching. But anyways, um, my uh, music in the background, I'll turn it up so you can hear it real quick. It's called Relaxing Chinese Music, East Sun, Bamboo Flute, Meditation, Healing, Yoga, Study, Relax, Zen Music. I will just pop that description in the link down to the, pop the link in the description box below. I'm being dyslexic today. Um, but yes, my video today is about Twin Flame 101, when you're just fed up. It's just when you're just fed up, and it's not like I'm fed up like I'm about to quit YouTube or anything like that. I'm not about, about to do no quick day on y'all today. But um, just when you get fed up, you're just fed up with the, the negativity. You're fed up with narcissistic people. You're fed up with all the, you know, the drama that they keep constantly putting on TV. It's bad when you have celebrities talking about slavery was a choice. It's just like if I had a choice to sit up here and change my, my skin complexion without having to use cream, like, oh, shit, okay, I want to wake up um, Arabic today. Or tomorrow, I want to wake up and be, you know, Asian tomorrow. I mean, it's not, nobody has a choice on what happens, especially when it comes to, like, slavery or a holocaust or anything like that. It's just like, you know, that was like a smack in the face to hear stuff like that. So I get fed up. I don't know about y'all, but I get fed up with hearing stuff like that. I embrace my blackness. I'm proud of my blackness. No, we did not have a choice. <laughs> no, we did not have a choice on slavery. Because if that was the case, we would have kept our cotton-picking butts at home, chilling you know, drinking some tea in, in some good air conditioning if they, they didn't have air conditioning back there, but a good breeze. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you get, I get tired of hearing about all this. If it's not people killing their children, it's children coming out missing. Or you have people blowing folks up, shooting folks up, going to school, shooting kids up. When is it going to ever stop? This one isn't gonna ever stop. That's why I make so many videos because it opens people up. I want people to be able to spread positivity, spread love out there because we desperately need it. It's just like our world is falling apart. People keep on saying, oh, you know, the, the Y2K or um, the world's gonna end, but they don't really, we don't realize that we're the one who's causing all these issues. It starts with us first. It really does start with us first. We have to be able to say, one is enough going to be enough. You know, when you see these animals being cruelly beaten. It's like, I've seen so many YouTube videos about these people finding animals in boxes or, you know, you got somebody hanging from dogs and stuff like that. I'm like, where is the humanity? Where is the compassion? Just because you can't feel that, don't think that the animal that you're doing this to does not feel that. Don't think that, you know, just because a child is not prone to know what feelings are at that time, you know, they're not feeling the fact that they're going through abuse, you know, and I'm just trying to understand for the life of me, what, why, <laughs> just why, what, what is the point on that, it, it's just, I don't understand it, how does a, a person's brain think, you know, tick like that, you know, there's times where I used to watch 
um, like these uh, autobiographies, uh, not autobiographies, but these uh, documentaries about um, these serial killers. And just not because I was intrigued by what they did, but I was intrigued by the mind of what would make you sit up here like edging at games or whatever his name is, you know, kill all these people and want to make suits out of their bodies. You know, I just wanted to know what in, what in your mind would process something that you want to make a human body out of a dress. I just don't understand. And it's just like, I, I wish we would have, I, you know, I was telling a friend the other day, I wish we have our own planet where we can start off brand new and all the drama people can stay on one planet and all the nice, wholesome people can stay on another one. We ain't even got to worry about it. <laughs> You know, I wonder if you feel that way too. You know, but when you just get fed up hearing about the negativity and what children go through or what these families have to go through or going through grief and knowing their children has passed away or knowing their family members has passed away from a senseless violence, you know. We've been having shootings here where I was live at. It's like four or five of them in the last week. And I'm just like, this is why I stay at home. You know, if I have to go somewhere, it's when I go somewhere. But, you know, if it's your time, it's your time. But if you feel this way, go ahead and drop me a line and let me know how you feel, too. Because it's just like my, with my sensitive, uh, sensitivity, when it comes to worse things, I really have to cut it off. Because it's just like I, I get too wrapped up and involved in it to where, you know, it, I mean, it's not a bad thing because you, if you're able to do something and, be able to have a cause for your awareness that you're doing, you know, more power to it. I love that. But, I mean, this really has to stop. You know, I just get really frustrated on seeing all the hatred people have for each other. You know, instead of building each other up, why do we have to do all these negative things? You know, everybody can win. <laughs> I really just don't understand that. But if you can go ahead and give me your feedback, I would really appreciate it. Drop me a line. I would love to hear from you. Like and subscribe if you have not already. And I hope you are able to resonate with my video and got something out of it. And if you did and you enjoyed what you heard, like, thumbs up, share. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you on my next video. I will keep you on my prayers. And I definitely hope you do the same for me. Send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Help one another when you feel the need to or even when it doesn't even feel like a duty and it feels like selflessness you know that is great great way to do things like that nowadays you know we need more of that so i will see you in my next video stay blessed be responsible for everything you do and i'll see you in my next video peace and be vile